Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cool vertical accordion with Elementor like a pro. If you're using the Elementor free version, this video is for you. If you're using the pro version, you can also achieve this easily. And I'm going to show you how to go about achieving what we have here on the screen step by step easily. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like so. And then when you click on this, you're going to have this. You click on this, you have this, as you can see. Now you can select whatever content you want to put here you can also click on this you have this and mind you this is highly responsive on all devices meaning it works for all devices and we can check that out on tablet see what it looks like on tablet okay so you can see you click on this you have this you click on this you have this as well you click on this you have this like that okay so now we can check it out also on mobile okay as you can see it looks great on mobile as well and it works perfectly on mobile so when you click it expands like that you click it expands and closes the previous one okay so and also i'm going to show you how you can set which of the cards will be your um, active card it's pretty easy to do so without further delay let's dive in and get started In our Elementor editing screen, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this plus icon here, select the flexible container, then select the structure here. Then I'm going to set the content width to full width. For the minimal height, I change the unit from pixel to VH and give it a value of 100. Then I'm going to come over here, justify content to the center. And then I'll go to the advanced settings and give it a padding of 100 pixel all round. Okay, then I'll come over here and then select the add element and then come over here and select this container widget now i'm going to rename this for reference purposes so i'll call this one here our parent and then for this container here i'm going to call this one accordion card okay so now for this accordion card what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the content width to full width and then for the width i'm going to give it the value of 25 percent okay then i'm going to come over here to the style option and then for the background type, I'm going to set it to classic and give it a background image. So I'll go to a media library to select our background image. So I just come over here and then I'll select this image here. Okay. So now come over here for the position. I'm going to set the position to center center. For the repeat, I'll set it to no repeat. And then I'm going to come over here and set the display size to cover. Okay. So now that I've done that, the next thing I'll do, I'll come over here for the border radius. I'm going to give it a border radius of 20 pixels all around. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the advanced settings. And then I'm going to come over here to where we have the CSS class. And then I'm going to add a CSS class called Accordion Card. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here, duplicate this card, this Accordion Card, multiple times, like let's say four times. Okay, so we're going to have a four card accordion. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this parent container here, come over here and then search for a HTML widget and then I'm going to select it. So the HTML widget is now added like it's the fourth content, or rather the fifth content within the parent container. Okay, however, it, it doesn't take any space, so you can just leave it like that. And then I'm going to head over to my code editor where I've written down the CSS and the JavaScript code that we use to create this wonderful uh, vertical accordion. So I'm just going to come over here. Now, this is the code, this is the CSS class. I'm just going to copy it out here. And that is the JavaScript section. I'm going to copy it out here. Not to worry about this code, it's going to be made available on the comment section for you to use for free. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it here okay so now as you can see this particular accordion we are building works for elemental free users and even the elemental pro users if you use this particular method okay so now when you come over here you can see so so when you click on one of these you should see it expands you click on this it expands you click on this it expands and like so so now what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to come over here to this one here and then that is the first accordion card now what i'm going to do here is i'll click on the plus icon here come over to the elements and then i'm going to select this container here and then for the container i'm going to call this container our inner 
content okay so now for this inner content container i'm going to come over here for the width i'm going to set the width to 95 percent okay then i'm going to come over here to where we have the padding and then for the padding i'm going to give it a padding of 20 pixel all around the picture all around okay then i'll come down here to where we have the position and then i'm going to set the position to absolute now i'll come over here for the horizontal orientation offset i'm just going to set it to zero percent so i'll change the unit here to percentage and then set it leave it at zero okay then for the vertical orientation offset what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to come over here and then set it to the bottom and then for the offset, I'm going to set it to set the unit to percentage and then give it a value of 20%. So we now have it placed here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this plus icon here, come over here, drag the heading widget and drop it here. Now for the heading text, I'm just going to call it our ocean line. Okay, go to the style version and tweak it a little bit. Nothing really fancy, just basic. It depends on how you want. You can tweak yours however you want i'm just going to set the font size to 1.7 rem and then for the font weight i'm give it 600 semi bold come over here set the color to white now you can see that it's not showing like there is um an overlay here not to worry about this by the time we are done it's going to make sense to you and then this overlay will disappear when we need it okay so now the next thing i'll do here is i'll come over here to this add element and select the text editor and drop it right below this so i'm just going to copy this and then duplicate it so that we'll have much text here okay so now go to the style option and then just change the text color to white as well okay so now for the inner container the next thing i'll do here is i'm just going to come over here to the advanced settings and then come down to where we'll have the css class and i'm going to give it a css class value of inner content okay so you can see it has disappeared okay so now but for now let's just remove this inner content here let's just cut this out so we can see that it's here and then let's go over here and then come over to our icon and select the icon widget and then let's make sure the icon widget let's delete it let's make sure the icon widget is not within the inner container inner content container it, sh it should be within the accordion card but not within the inner content uh, uh, container so i'm just going to select the accordion card go over here and then search for the icon widget okay and then select it so now it's not within the inner content but however it's within the accordion card so now i'm just going to come over here set the view to stack go to the style option and tweak it a little bit so for the primary color i'm going to set it to white the secondary color i'm just going to set it to black okay for the font size for the icon size i'm going to set it to 35 pixel okay then i'll come over here for the content let's select an icon from list of icons here depending okay just select this swimming icon since we're talking about the ocean so I'll just insert this great so the next thing i'll do i'll go to the advanced settings then I'm going to come over to the position. I'm going to set the position to absolute. Okay, so now you can see it's now showing white. Okay, so now for the horizontal orientation offset, I'm going to set it to uh, 30 pixel. Okay, and then for the vertical orientation offset, I'm going to set it to the bottom. The orientation, I'll set it to the bottom. And for the offset, I'm just going to set it to uh 10 pixel let's set it to 10 pixel so we now have something that looks like so okay so now the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm just going to come over here for this inner content here for this inner content container i'm going to come over here to the advanced settings under the layout and then we can add our inner content css class and you can see it has disappeared so now when you select like this and you come over here it's it's not showing okay so now the reason is because we are here so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to come over here and delete this and then delete this one and delete this one so we're just going to duplicate this particular accordion card that contains this content here so we don't need to recreate it all over so i'm just going to duplicate it and uh, duplicate it again and duplicate it again okay so now 
the next thing I'm going to do here is not take for let's publish this and let's see what we we'll have here. So now let's go to the preview and let's preview changes. Now you can see all the cards are like so. So now when you click on this, you're going to see this is what happens. And then you click on this, this is what happens. However, there is no active card when you reload. So take for instance, we reload this, all cards are like so. And this is not what we want. So in order for us to do that, we're going to go back here. And then amongst the card, you can select any of the card you want to be your card that will be open by default. So I'm just going to select this middle card, this second card here. So now for the accordion card, the accordion card container, I'm going to go to the advanced settings and come down here. We will have the accordion. I'm going to add another CSS class to it. And this CSS class, we call it expanded. Okay, as you can see, it's now expanded. So by default, it, this card will be expanded. And then for the uh, inner content, you can see it's not showing. Now, to make it show, for this inner container, inner content container, I'm going to go to the advanced settings and come down here to where we have the CSS class. And then I'm going to add the CSS cloud value of active. Okay, so now you can see it's now showing and then our white color are now showing rather than the color we had, which was behind the overlay, the background overlay. So we now have it like so. So now when you select this, it won't work here. So now what we're going to do next is we're just going to click on publish. And then we're going to come over here. You can see by default, it's now, this card is now set to expand. So now we'll click on this. We're going to have this. And then we'll click on this, we have this. We'll click on this, we have this, and like that. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over here and let's check for the responsiveness of our design. Okay. So now let's check it out on tablet and let's see what it looks like on tablet. It doesn't look great on tablet. So in order to fix it on tablet, what we're going to do first is we're going to come over to the parent container. Now for the parent container, we're going to come over to the layout and then make sure we set the item direction to column vertical. And then we're going to come over to the first accordion, this accordion here, come over to the layout. And then for the weight, we're going to change the unit from pixel to peak percentage and then set it to 100%. And then we'll come over to the second accordion. We'll do the same, come over to the layout, set the peak, uh, unit to percentage and give it a value of 100%. Then we'll come over to the third accordion. And then uh, we change the unit from pixel to percentage and set it to 100. To the fourth accordion, we do the same. Okay. So now we've done that. As you can see now, it looks great on, on tablet. Okay. And it's not working well here on our Elementor editor. However, when we'll go over to preview it on our live website we're going to see it's working well so now let's check it out on mobile let's see what it looks like on mobile okay so now on mobile all we just need to do is to read go to the parent container and reduce the padding so we're going to come over here to the advanced settings for this padding here we're just going to unlink this to the top we're going to give it a value of 100 to the bottom we're going to give it the value of 100 and then to the right we're going to give it a value of 20 pixel and 20 pixel to the left Okay, so now that our design is fully responsive on all devices, what I'm going to do next is let's head over to the desktop view. So I'm going to edit each of the accordion cards and the content. So we'll have varieties of content here. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I've successfully changed the various contents. Now let's click on publish so we can preview our changes and see what we've done. Okay, all right. So you can see here, we now have this image, which is different. When you click on this, you now have this. And then we'll come over here, you can see this and see this as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to preview it on our live simulator to see how it looks like on various devices. Okay, so I'm just going to head over to our live simulator. Okay, so this is what it looks like on our live website. As you can see, everything working pretty well. Here you can see it. Okay, so now let's check it out on tablet to see what it looks like on tablet. Okay, so this is what we get on tablet, as you can see. So now we'll click on this, you see this. You click here, it comes like so, and then you have this, and then you have this as well. Now let's check it out on mobile. Okay, so this is what we we'll have on mobile. We'll click on this and you have this wonderful design here. So this is pretty much a wonderful design you can use to beautify things on your website and 
make your website look more professional. And mind you, you can achieve this using the Elementor Free and Elementor Pro. No need of additional plugin. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this tutorial. And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new in our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.